variable. One variable. And what are you looking at? Four. Oh, sorry. Um, six. You only have two variables here. Yeah. So it's hard. You are looking for K and you are also looking for angle Q. Oh, sorry. Right? Which is unusual. You are not supposed to look for K and angle Q. That is, if your K is not even quadratic equation again. So it looks like the problem is compounded, isn't it? But it's not. So pay attention. Just think. So this is P squared plus R squared minus 2PR cross Q. Does this make sense? Now if you substitute, what is Q squared? K root 2 squared. Just pretend it's a number. Even if you get stuck, state your formula, substitute, get to the point where you get stuck, and leave it there. Worst case scenario, your examiner say, oh, this young man, this young lady has done something logical. Can I at least put one out of three, one out of five, one is better than zero, even if it is out of hundred. Do you get that? And that will amount to something. So don't look at the picture and say, oh my God, I'm looking for Q, now I have to deal with K, I'm not going to waste my time doing this. Do something. Okay? And you will realize that it's, as, it's easier than you thought. Now let's see. K squared, agree? Yeah. K squared, 2KK cos Q. Am I right? Yeah. Now what is K root 2 squared? 2K two K two K K squared. Because this will be K squared, this will be 2. Right? So this is 2K squared. Now this is K squared plus K squared minus 2K squared. Cos Q. Ladies and gentlemen, this should have been root 3. It's alright, it's alright. Is this the same thing? You can change it later. So, this will be 3k squared. Do you agree? Yeah. This question is from my own national curriculum, questions I did in high school. But I never forget it, because it's fun. Anyways, so this is cos q. If this group I brought here, Remember, maybe I write this this way, minus 2k squared cos q. Now, this whole thing becomes plus 2k squared cos q. Agree? Yes. And the rest, k squared plus k squared, yes? Yeah. Minus 3k squared, yeah. right? Yes. So what happens? <coughs> 2k squared cos q equals minus k squared, right? Yeah. So what does this become? Cos Q equals minus K squared divided by 2K squared. What is that? So do you have to worry about K? No. Huge. Huge. Did you see that? That's why I said make an attempt. You see, if you do not write something on the paper, your mind tells you, oh, it's difficult to do. All you have to do is lift up that part. Then you could see that the rest is easy. Now, Q equals a cos of minus R. Definitely, this is an angle more than 90. How do you know without calculating it? Because it's negative. So that's the second quadrant. Why can't it be the fourth quadrant? Remember, cos is negative in the second and the third, actually. Second and third. So why can't this answer be in the third quadrant? Because if it's more than one, it's not a triangle anymore. So you don't need to work out Q in two answers. I know some of you want to show me, oh, I know how to solve three equations. I don't need that nonsense here. So Q equals, if you do, many of you still find it difficult to solve a simple trick equation. If cos x equals minus 1 over 2, I told you your calculator, check R cos, not even x, R cos of R. I said, check this in the calculator, but don't write it down. Many of you write everything down. Then you tell me x is equal to R cos of minus R. Then you write x is equal to 60. Then you say x is equal to 180 minus 60, which is equal to 120. And that's why I put question mark in your, answer, in your paper. Are you saying x is 60? Suddenly, X was confused, X changed his name from 60 to 120, for no reason. <laughs> Do you understand that? 
This is just part of your rough work. It should be outside this solution. I don't want to see it. You can put it somewhere in the corner, far away. It's just for you to remember what to subtract. Does it make sense? So this is what you need, 120 degrees. So if this is 120, it's easier to get P and R. Who can tell me why? I saw this triangle. Do you need any sign rule here? No. no. So P is equal to R will be 180 minus 60. Am I right? Minus 120. So what is P now and R? 30. But I'm not asking you to find P, Q, R. I'm asking you to find the ratio. P ratio Q ratio R is what? 30 degrees, 120 degrees, 30 degrees. What is that? 1441. Does this mean that angle P is 1? No. Does it mean angle Q is 4? No. That is the same reason you cannot put 1, 1, root 2 here. Any question? What do you mean it's not right? What? This is the answer now. I'm saying, reason why you shouldn't put KK roots. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's the end. So we'll see after the exam for any other correction. Thank you very much. We'll probably take it later. I, can't, I don't want to delay the other time.